If you follow the Pro Shot shooting system, you know we are big fans of the dip. We believe the best shooters dip when shooting off of the pass. The best shooters past and present are dippers. So let's focus on the dip and how to properly practice it. Is just bring it right down to your thigh. That's it. And then, then wait a second and then pass to the, and then, so you're gonna do it and I'm gonna do it. Ready, set, go. Right there. Go. Right there. Who gets it? Everybody understand? Now, one thing I want to, and I want, and go ahead and touch the thigh. Touching the thigh is fine. I have no problems with that. Do not bow to the person in front of you. They are not worthy. Okay? Because we get a lot of people that do this. Right? Number one, you're off balance. Number two, you're not a threat. So what I want you to do is when you catch it, really the only thing that moves is kind of the hand, the forearm, and the ball. That's about it. Right there. Who gets it? Everybody got it? We're going to spread apart. Hey guys, we are not going to shoot a basketball right now. We're just going to pass to one another. Now, you want to go straight down. A lot of you guys are going to the opposite side. You're defeating the purpose. So anytime, if I'm right-handed, I'm going to touch my right thigh. If I'm left hand, I'm going to touch my left thigh. But you've got to bring it down right here. All right, next thing that what we got to do is we got to talk about how to catch the ball. And most bad shooters, when they try to dip, they try to catch under the ball. I'm going to try to catch under the ball. And I can't, I can't dip because all this tension is right here. Um, I know you've been told you got to get under the ball. That's not what we're talking about here, okay? So, so watch what we're going to do. You can't be here. Um, I like to catch from, from, from the middle in back of the ball to kind of on top, about right in here. Because for me, what that is, is now I'm allowing the ball to come down with my motion. Okay, so once again, I don't want to be on top. I don't want to be under. I want to kind of be in back and kind of on top, about right here. So watch, one, once again, who understands what I'm talking about, right? Anything else is defeating the purpose. Okay? You don't have to tuck it in, just let it go. Let it boom. Let it come down. Good. Good. There's only one problem with one-handed shooting. Give me give me ball. Watch. If I shoot like this, what's the two things that I can't do? First of all, I'm pulling my, my off hand off the shot, which is not good. And a lot of you have bad, what we call guide hands or off hands. But what's the other big problem that I have? Go. I can't dip. I can't dip the ball. It's impossible. Now, I think this works, the one hand shot for maybe NBA players, because they've already established their dip. Maybe college players, maybe really, really advanced high school players. But for, for middle school kids and, and high school kids and elementary kids, I think for the most part, I think it just destroys your shot. We just did a camp in Wisconsin last week, and I had, I, it was a bunch of girls, and they had the worst looking form. And one thing I, I heard their coach say is, yeah, we do one-handed shooting for about 30 minutes a day. That's what we warm up with. Every day we do. And their kids couldn't, because they all started their shot up here. So I'm gonna show you a drill that I'd like you to do. It's our warm up drill, and what we're gonna do is establish the dip. So you're gonna get the ball, and all you're gonna do is, you're gonna throw it up, and everybody will have a ball. You're gonna throw it up, and you're gonna kinda of catch it up here. Now, can we shoot up here? Yeah, we can, we're not gonna be very good though. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna come up, we're gonna dip, we're actually going to touch the thigh for now. That's your training device. Touching the thigh, shoot the ball. Touch the thigh, shoot the ball. Who gets it? Everybody understand? Okay. Uh, a few things real fast. Make sure you're catching it up here and don't let it, don't let it catch to right here. Okay? You guys got it? Go. Have some fun. After you have learned the dip and it feels comfortable, you no longer have to touch the thigh. This is a learning tool. It's like a training wheel. For most players, it's only a day or two that they have to touch the thigh. 
Remember, the dipping motion allows a player to receive more rhythm and power on his or her shot. Two very important components. And it's not slower unless you do it extremely slow. The dip is very important. 